Let's go. All right, so here we are back in Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center for another monumental UFC event. And I think the biggest memory for me in this building was Colby Covington's oh. main event against Robbie Lawler. That was as inspiring an offensive performance that I've seen in some time. He blew the roof off of the Prudential Center. Whether you wanted to boo him or cheer, you understood what you were watching as you saw Colby Covington put on the performance of a lifetime. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Huge block there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a side. I want to appear to stun him. Lands a big elbow there. Look at the turn in that kick. Just misses there with the left. Punch land. The punch is blocked. Hands higher, hands higher. Just misses with the right. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, collar tie. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. with the left there. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Effective strike there by Amir Khan. What a body kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow. This is what a jab is supposed to look like. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, spinning back fist. Nice one, two there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Big punch land. Ooh. 20 seconds left. Oh, 
nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Second round here. Now he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Those jabs are landing, though. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing... Oh, he's up on the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Good, nice. right, Some nice back and forth action here. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe that he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, oh! Knee to the body. Oh, big left. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice knee to the body by Amir Khani. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, really making good use of his... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Oh, straight right. Nice. Nice punch lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, no. Oh, straight right. Half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? 
He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> Joy gets up, he is back on the feet here. Great punch. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh! He's out! He got it! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. And there he is after the huge knockout turn.